When the big banks securitized and traded mortgages, they often lost track of the original mortgage note. Without that note, banks often don't know who owns a mortgage or if they have a legal right to foreclose on that family. Instead of making sure that they were not wrongfully throwing families out of their homes, the banks rubber stamped hundreds of thousands of foreclosures. That's right. <laughs> In some cases, they even foreclosed on homeowners who were current on their payments. That ain't right. That ain't right. These are not just technicalities. If banks are wrongfully kicking families out of their homes, that is unethical, immoral, and illegal. Already some judges have reversed foreclosures because the banks couldn't prove who owned the mortgage. In some cases, judges have even thrown out mortgages altogether. Banks are trying to downplay this, but it is a growing quagmire. As it gains steam, it threatens to paralyze our entire economy. Each foreclosure costs our local government, as City Council Member Herrera mentioned, $27,000. In this time of crisis, when we are laying off city employees and cutting city services. So let's review what we are asking. There are four main points here. Number one, banks must freeze foreclosures in all 50 states until they agree to stop flooding the economy with unnecessary foreclosures. Number two, big banks must agree to principal write downs. Number three, they must negotiate permanent loan modifications. And number four, they must prove that they actually have ownership of these loans. We're not just here to make a statement today. We are continuing our call to action. And until the banks agree to these solutions, we will continue to call on individuals to move their money from the big banks. Join our ground movement to put your monies where your put your money where your values are at, and we are promoting our website, www.ourmoneyourvalues.org, where you can sign up, and we will continue on with this fight. We appreciate your presence today.